You take no damage for 24 hours. What are you doing today? My area has a lot of waterfalls. You bet I'm swan diving off one of them. Why stop at one? Eat Captain Crunch with no milk. Take bets for surviving a fall from 100 plus feet, take in cash against those who bet against my surviving. There are a lot more death defying acts than falling from 100 plus feet. You need an agent who can line up all these feats, and take odds at Vegas, so you can properly cash in on this 24 hours of immortality. Heck, maybe even negotiate a dollar exclusive deal with HBO or Netflix, so you can shoot 24 hours of mayhem, to be shown over one or two seasons. I want to hug all the tigers. Touching lava. Giraffe snacks tried to swim in lava. Chew 10 gum, down it with 50 cans of Red Bull and eat 3 vitamins gummy bears. Edit, I think my organs have disintegrated plus send help. Go to space and float for a bit and then fall back to earth. How you get into space? Have a load of fun at the shooting range. I'll be the target. Imagine how much money you could make being hired to be a live target for people that wanted to shoot someone but not actually kill them, like a real life bullet sponge. Edit, but then they would kill you for real later. Damn it Reddit you could wear a mask or something, not everything has to be a monkey's paw scenario. I'm heading to the dentist. All of my pending dental work done in a single sitting. Make videos how I jump from high places and upload them on YouTube. But can I suffer from charm, sleep, or paralyze effects? No sir. Seeing how many times I can masturbate without having an aneurysm. Aneurysms aren't real silly. Edit, I'm a fucking idiot for it taking so long to understand you slash crazed underscore alchemistry. I would explore the deep sea. How cool would it be to just dive to a bajillion meters below sea level and fight a giant squid? Do I take emotional damage? No, but that won't stop you from considering your actions three weeks later while trying to sleep. Convince everyone I'm an immortal. Start a religion. Question mark. Profit. Get killed the next day. Skydiving without parachute nights. And with lots of 4K video to be sold to the highest bidder. Dig straight down. Clean up radioactive waste from an atomic accident. The first truly selfless suggestion. Breaking up with my boyfriend, O. J. Simpson. Do a real Naruto run on Area 51. Just because you take no damage doesn't necessarily mean you can't be physically restrained. Run with scissors. Edit, thank you kind strangers for the silver and gold. Ife. No. Snort a little storage container full of cocaine. The bank account damaged toe. Put dick in blender after betting everyone that my dick will break the blender. Good luck reaching the blades. Play Russian roulette all day, bidding all my money on me, and become really rich. Just because the bullet didn't kill you, doesn't mean you win. Telling my crush how I really feel about her. If you take no damage you could show your love to her by stabbing yourself in the eye with a fork. She will instantly be yours, trust. Have major film studios bid to use me for the 24 hours as a stuntman, where they just have me actually crash in cars slash motorcycles slash falls. Anyway they have people get shot, stabbed, hurt, maimed, and use CGI. They would instead have a real life person. Superhero landing? Got it. Run right back up to the roof and do a jumper scene etc. I need to feel how squishy lava is. I'm gonna eat a Toblerone without breaking the triangles off first and then I'm gonna go run around with a pair of scissors. Set myself on fire. Jump off buildings. Sex with a beehive. Honey, I'm home. Probably go around betting people that I can jump off high buildings. Also going to stare at the sun a while, see if I can see anything new. Step on Legos all day and feel like a god. Take all drug types at the same time. You'll get the how did we get here? Achievement in Minecraft. Swimming to the bottom of the ocean. Bet people x money that you can drink bleach and be fine. You better hope the bleach is out of your system until the 24 hours are up. Winning lots of bets and getting hit by lots of trains and buses. 
I'm going to steal the Declaration of Independence. Calm down there Nicolas Cage. Pet all the animals. Starting with tigers, lions, leopards, bears, and raccoons. Yeeting out of a plane. Can I get a can of Pringles? Sorry we don't serve those on here. Fuck it I'm out. Dot. Trim those damn roses in my front yard. Thorny bastards. Get in my car and drive like I'm playing GTA 5. You take no damage but your car does. Going to a spicy food eating competition. Fun fact, you're still going to feel it as feeling the heat of spice doesn't rely on actually taking damage. Late to the thread. I wouldn't do a goddamn thing because this sounds like a monkey paw situation where the damage sustained would show up later and suddenly. Pull back my foreskin for the first time. Raiding area 51. Anal. Same thing I did for the last 24 hours. Seems to be working. Stand atop a building and threaten to kill myself, when Terry's a big enough crowd trying to stop me, I jump down and be like what's going on guys? Is someone trying to kill themselves? And then just walk away. Lands on someone, getting covered in red paste. If I also don't take emotional damage. Finally falling in love for just 24 hours but why not? Exercise. Think about how many calories you could burn and how much muscle you could build with 24 straight hours of exercise and no need to worry about recovery time or overexertion. Building muscle is technically damaging your muscles to rebuild them, so I think you'd just end up where you started. Walk near tables, not fearing to hurt my toe. I bring a knife to a gunfight. Fuck up ISIS. Go full punisher mode challenge the army. A great war lasting 24 hours. I run. I just keep going until I reach the lake where I jump in and I start to swim. I swim and swim until the water bores me. That's when I run home for hours of passionate lovemaking. When we're both as satisfied as we could possibly be, I get all of my art supplies and go into the living room and do the most physically intensive art I possibly can until my son is done school. I go pick him up myself and take him to the park where my fiancé will meet us with a picnic dinner. At this point, I play hide and seek, tag, and all the games he made up at school, with my son, ending it off with a game of catch. I finish the day out but tucking him in, and once he's asleep, comes round two of the intimate with my fiancé. I cry myself to sleep in his arms knowing what tomorrow will bring. Hi, I was born with juvenile rheumatoid arthritis. I am now 36 years old, and over my son's life, the past 9 plus years, I have had a slow decline into the absolute worst flare-up of my life. Everything I stated above are things my pain routinely prevents me from doing. I haven't run in over 10 years. I haven't walked more than 20 feet, in 5. I am wheelchair bound when out, but for the most part, I'm bedridden. These are all things I dream of doing again, and the things with my son, are those I've never been able to do at all. Thanks for reading. Purple Heart. Shove my dick into a wood chipper and jizz like I've never jizzed before. Hey, I'm worried about you. Everyone here seems to have balls of steel. I'm gonna jump from super high up. I'm gonna go to other various dangerous activities. Me? I'm gonna sit at home being a fetus and eat as much shit as possible. I won't feel a thing. Until the next day. Bull riding all damn day. It is so much fun but damaging. Setting the world record for highest freefall from the edge of space. Walk on Legos. He's too dangerous to be kept alive. Something that would damage me otherwise. I'm just gonna straight up stick my arm in moving lawnmower blades. Fight Chuck Norris. You'd still get beat to death. <laughs>